Why should hypnotists learn NLP? And why do we teach NLP inside of the Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy? First of all, well, I'm Mike Mandel. I'm Chris Thompson, and we run the Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy. Yes, we do. Now, let, let's start with the premise that we believe that mm -hmm. hypnosis, our favorite definition is hypnosis is primarily an amplifier of human experience. Yeah. So if you think of this as uh, the wrapper you can put around any other thing you're doing, including some kind of change work, NLP is one of the tools you can wrap in hypnosis. I like that. That makes a lot of sense. So you could have like a basket that you think of as your hypnotic trance, or you could just carry this stuff. But hey, it's so much easier to put it inside of a basket and you get better results. So you can do <laughs> NLP inside of that hypnotic right. basket. Um, and then second of all, like you said, Hip, uh, you didn't actually say, but no, NLP <laughs> already contains a lot of hypnotic elements. Right. right? Let's look at that. NLP contains built-in mm -hmm. hypnosis a lot of the time, not in every single thing like rapport or whatever. But uh, think about it. When Bandler and Grinder codified NLP, they did it by modeling three extremely successful therapists, one of whom was mm -hmm. Milton H. Erickson, who we still believe is arguably the greatest hypnotist who ever lived. Can you imagine if they had modeled like birthday party clowns and surgeons and stuff like that? Fritage and really clowns, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they modeled, they modeled Green Milton grocers. H. Erickson as yeah. one of the therapists. And since he was a hypnotist, and in fact, he was really he the was father hypnosis. of conversational hypnosis. Definitely. There's a lot of aspects in NLP where you're not formally directing someone to do something that's specific, like stare at this object or anything like that. Right, right. But there's this conversational aspect to asking people questions and instructing them to do certain things and imagine changes going on, some modalities, he, he whatever the case He was doing freaking NLP shifts, right. it, it, without a doubt. And so- NLP, although it does not require an actual trance mm -hmm. or some sort of induction, let's say, and we know inductions are just a ritual to indicate, okay, now you're in hypnosis. It, it You're looking at something that creates trance just by virtue of being done. So NLP, yeah. to take a long way around here, when you're doing an NLP process, like a six-step reframe or the old switch pattern that's sort of archaic now, any of these things, they do have built-in trances that occur naturally. And you'll see external trance indicators too, right? right? If somebody closes their eyes to imagine a submodality change, let's say during a, a yeah, it could be during a switch pattern or a fast phobia cure or something like right, that. Right, right they're going to have eye movement going on. They're going to have breathing shifts. You'll, you'll see have, facial mm -hmm. color changes. You'll often see the lower lip size seems to increase as the mandibular angle right. opens. So we'll see the external indicators that look like someone is in a trance. Yeah, that makes sense. So because you're having people focus their attention. They're visualizing, them. they're breathing, they're moving. And this will cause the exact same kinds of shifts that you're going to happen or will happen with hypnotherapy. And this fits in very well with our friend James Tripp and talking about hypnosis without trance. Right. You're doing the procedure, you're creating the phenomena directly. And that's why we say all hypnotists will benefit from learning NLP, yes. right? You're either going to see it as a subset of tools that plugs perfectly into a hypnosis session, or you can use it as its own set of tools standalone without any formal hypnosis, however you want to do it. But if right. you're a hypnotherapist or a hypnotist and you're doing hypnosis to help clients, it makes sense to have NLP skills in your toolbox so you can put them inside of that, we're mixing metaphors here, but that hypnotic <laughs> yeah. basket, right? Yeah, you can put them inside that toaster. Yeah, it's really mix the metaphors. <laughs> toaster, that's Who's good. the guy who said something like, people who mix, mix metaphors can shampoo my crotch or something? <laughs> it's very, very odd. That's now, good. Look, so we think NLP is a great great standalone set of tools. And hypnosis is a great standalone set of tools. And when you put the two together, it's fantastic. And Magic. You can wrap anything in NLP though. Right. Now, within the Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy, which is our hypnosis training program, our online program, yeah. we do include a lot of these elements, even though we don't call them out as NLP, no. we teach them anyway, because they're in there. Now, a, a, let's go through a few examples. You've got rapport, like matching and mirroring. What about right. the meta model? Well, the meta model using uh, questions to clarify clarify what the other person's experience is. And so we're using language to clarify language. We can use that in mm -hmm. an intake with a hypnosis session, even though it technically comes from NLP. And we're doing things like some modality shifts, even something as simple as taking somebody from an associated state where they're in their own body, sure. to imagining that other you over there to discharge negative emotions. Yes. Right? As my things mentor like Derek this. Bomber would say, 
Sure. So if you are interested in learning hypnosis, that includes a lot of NLP elements that aren't called out directly as this is NLP. Right. Go to the Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy. You'll find a link in the description below this video. And for those of you who prefer a standalone NLP We got you course, covered. Yeah, we got you covered because we have, what's it called, Mike? NLP Essentials. Right. And it's a, a really simple. It's about a six, seven hour course. It includes certification, no extra charge. It's a great course. For either anyone who's brand new, let's say, here's a, this is a great book. Like if you want to buy a book like this, read Seymour it, you'll learn great some book. awesome NLP. But if you prefer video training and it's concise and consolidated, NLP Essentials is a great way to go. And it's an easier thing to learn than going and spending a full weekend or full week at a course. This will give you everything you need to know. In the right. Now let's clarify. We don't certify people as NLP mm -hmm. practitioners. We certify them as having passed yes, our course. That's right. That's right. All about board and transparent. Mm -hmm. That's it. So uh, check out the links in the description below this video. We hope this has been useful to you. Best I am Chris me. Thompson. I'm Mike Mandel. We run Mike Mandel Hypnosis and we hope you have an awesome day. Make sure you click on the subscribe button while you're here. Where's our bell? And then ring the and bell. Then ring that bell. Because once yeah. you subscribe, you'll get that alert. You know, would you like to get alerts to all of our videos? Of course you would. They're awesome. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. And...